Hello friends. Today we will discuss about transportation in plants and also brief about xylem phloem conducting tissues. Suppose, uh, let's say uh, this is a structure of a plant. Okay. This is a plant structure. This is stem part. This is the root part. There are many roots and leaves coming out. Something like that. And this is the apex part. All the uh, now the, from the root part, all the water transportation takes place. This is a part where the, all the water absorption takes place, and it moves via this vascular bundles, the upward portion, where the requirement of water is there, and from here, the transpiration takes place from the leaf surface, and the water requirement of the plant is fulfilled. The same way. We can say the root system uh, during the sunlight in presence of carbon dioxide and photosynthesis, the photosynthesis takes place and all the food material which is produced is transferred downwards to the portion which is which requires that particular uh, food material for growth. Now, this complete transport system uh, is done by two pathway that we may, we may call as xylem and phloem, xylem and phloem tissues. And now, the next thing is we will explain more about what is this xylem and phloem tissues and how they help in uh, movement of various water minerals obtained from soil. It is moved up by xylem and phloem which transports all the products of photosynthesis from the leaves from their synthesized and they are transferred to other plant, other part of the plant. Supposing this is the uh, cross section of a stem, this from the pith part, is the middle part. Now we have the outer cuticle part then the phloem and xylem tissues like this we have the inner part at xylem and the outer part at phloem so this from the outer part this from the inner part and the middle part with bifurcates of both is called procambium Procambium. Now the same structures have been depicted here. So this is the flowing part, the procambium part, and the xylem part. These are the various tissues, and this is the outer cuticle of the plant. So this uh, constitutes the complete uh, vascular system of a plant, which helps in the movement of material, of translocation of material up and down in a plant system. And uh, and which helps in doing all the metabolism in the plant. Now we uh, now you see the long term section of the um, xylem and flowing part. And this from the outer cuticle of the plant, and this part forms the flowing part. So the long term you can see it forms the outer part of that uh, particular system and the inner part which translocates all the uh, food material or the water material from the water from internal minerals from roots to the other parts is the xylem. So this from the internal part and this from the external part. And this uh, part is uh, divided by this uh, cambium cells, cambium tissues. So this structure completely forms a long term structure and laterally if you see you have seen that this is the lateral section so both section you have seen 
Now, getting into a detail part of the xylem. So, xylem um, uh, tissue consists of two types of cells. Uh, one is vessel cells and other is tracheid cells. So, these vessel cells are, uh, you can say, it's a cylindrical cells like this. Uh, it is arranged longitudinally with open ends. Open end. This is the uh, vessel cells which helps in movement of all the uh, water from root to the upper part. Then from the tracheid cells, this is tracheid, tracheid tissue in the xylem, uh, which are elongated and spindle shaped, and it are more or less dead cells. We can see it looks like this. So elongated. And it's, it's a dead cell. It's in combination of with the with the vessels. Vessels are more active and and uh, along with this from the tracheid part, which is the dead part. So these uh, two elements form the uh, xylem system. The xylem vessels and tracheids are both non-living and conducting tissues. They are both non-living and both are conducting. So, these are the few uh, special features of this, uh, both the tissues which form the xylem part. Now, coming to the other part that is the phloem. Now, the phloem consists of, if we see the long tube section of the phloem part, it consists of two, three structures. And, uh, um, if you if you could see these are the porous part this is the porous part now if I uh, indicate those part these are the porous sieve sieve pores these are pores and these are sieve cells this acts like a filtering type of thing and the tube consists of uh, the pores and the sieve sieve uh, sieve cells this forms the companion cells. This forms the companion cells, and this is the outer cuticle, outer cuticle part, and the inner portion is the, the phloem part. This is the elongated cells, and, uh, and this helps in movement of all the. Um, uh, it conducts food materials in the vascular band, and and it transports all the photosynthesates and the need for storage and consumption purpose to other part of the uh, plant. Uh, now, uh, if you uh, see the structure of uh, this flowing, uh, you can see the movement goes through, the movement takes place through a sieve tube. This is a sieve tube, sieve tube. So, the complete structure we can define like uh, it has a sieve tube, it has a companion cell, it has sieve pores and sieve, sieve cells. So, these all form the proper structure of a flowing part. This phloem and the xylem together help in movement of all the food material from, as I told you earlier, from the lower part, the root part, the upper part of the plant and other part or other area that is minerals and waters are moved by xylem and the phloem moves all the uh, photosynthesates and other um, material which is produced by the process of photosynthesis to a different part of the uh, plant. So, the food is basically uh, sugar and other metabolites synthesized which are synthesized the leaves and uh, substances like hormones uh, which are uh, synthesized at the tip of the root or stem are transported to other part and this all done through this uh, flowing part which is also conducting tissue. This is the way how uh, uh, transportation of uh, all the materials takes place in a plant and uh, basic done by the flowing. 
in the next uh, i think we have come to almost covered the major part of the uh, plant leaf structure and its constituent of leaf structure and how the movement takes place in the plant now next session we will look at the various aspects of transpiration other uh, changes importance of transpiration which takes place in a plant thank you